Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a little hardware analyze, let's call it. Yeah? With read in, and I've already told you, please try to plug those things into the same holes as your potentiometer, because the potentiometer, I've explained the difference in the previous video. Yeah? Now I made it exactly wrong. Okay, look at that. Yeah, I, I, I used the, the potentiometer and I used simply the cables located at the correct positions. Yeah, and now we will have a look what it means if we read in the analog value. Okay, so I have uh, I have again used the same program as. In the last video, so simply this analog in, and we open the serial monitor, yeah? and then we have some values. Currently, it's looking fine, eighteen percent. Yeah. Now I try to, ooh, and you see, I touch it, and we see somewhere one hundred percent. Or I, I just touched it. I've never here. This is some jiggly contact, right? So yeah, if I really grab it firm. Then it seems to work and so on. However, we cannot. What is what's going on now? What is going on now? Yeah? Different values. We don't even know. We don't even see what is happening. All right. There we have a, a, a series of numbers and we are not capable of analyzing this somehow. Yeah? If something like this happens to you, yeah, you might. There is also a built in. You can find it here under tools. There's not only the serial monitor, there's also the so-called serial plotter. And if you open this, yeah, you see there values. Whenever the serial plotter is recognizing a value, it tries to read it or display it. Yeah? You see, currently the value, there is done also written. You have to keep a certain... Uh, a certain syntax in the in the serial monitor output. Yeah? You see, but you see, this is the value. So this is what we have seen. There is an interesting sine wave thing, and if I'm touching this, book. Now it's stable. You see, if I can, if I'm changing this, what we currently see here now, this is now around 600. Now it's 600. This is the this is the uh, raw value, okay? So one between zero and one thousand twenty-three. And now I'm releasing it. You see, ooh, immediately something is going on. If I am touching it again, then now it's zero. Ooh, now it's up. Yeah. Uh, now it's even one hundred. This is not really working, right? So this is why I told you, please try to push in those those connectors at the same at the same holes as as the the connectors of the potentiometer because if you do so I tried once again here even if they go in rather hard mm -hmm. And now let's see what the result is. Yeah. This looks stable. Turn it. Huh? Stable, right? So it's just this not perfect context. Now it's working perfect. It's a typical disadvantage of these breadboards. Yeah? However, I wanted to show you how to analyze the input with onboard software, yeah? tools. There are special tools out there where you can adjust a little bit more sophisticated and measure and so on. Also very nice, but for for quick reference for quick analyze 
this is this is working well huh? yeah so now we know how to use analog inputs yeah? next time we now really going to measure temperature yeah? for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye